Duran Duran to reunite with original Andy Taylor on new music project. Duran Duran are reuniting with their original guitarist Andy Taylor on a new music project which will be released later this year. Taylor, 62, revealed last year that he had been diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic prostate cancer in 2018. The renowned British New Wave group announced the news about Taylor's health while they were being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Saying he had to miss the ceremony due to a setback in his treatment. The band, which also consists of singer Simon Lebon, keyboardist Nick Rhodes, bassist John Taylor and drummer Roger Taylor, will come together to release new tracks featuring their friends and family. In a statement posted on Twitter, the group said, Duran Duran are thrilled to confirm a special new music project is in the works, set for release later this year on BMG. The new recordings will feature extended Duran Duran family and friends, old and new, including our former bandmate Andy Taylor who will join us on guitar for a few tracks. Simon, Nick, John and Roger look forward to seeing you all out on the road this year. Duran Duran formed in Birmingham in 1978 and were one of the biggest acts of the 1980s. With hits including Rio, Wild Boys and Bond theme of You to a Kill. The three Taylors are not related. The group has risen to prominence again recently, releasing their 15th studio album. Future Past, in 2021 and touring in Europe and America. More dates are scheduled later this year in the UK with special guests says his sisters Jake Shears and Leah Leah due to feature. They also performed at a number of high-profile events last year including the Queen's Platinum Jubilee concert at Buckingham Palace and the Commonwealth Games opening ceremony in Birmingham. And they headlined the British Summertime Festival in London's Hyde Park. A documentary film, A Hollywood High, about their rooftop concert at the Astor Hotel in Los Angeles was also released last year. The film also features interviews and archive footage telling the story of the band's relationship with the U.S. city.